Hi everybody, Rebecca Watson once again from Skeptic at Skeptic.org and the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe podcast and BostonSkeptics.com uh, and Bostonist.com and now YouTube. I keep busy. So um, this is the third video and uh, thank you very much for all your comments on the last two, previous two. Um, once again, I've tried to take your comments uh, into um, mind when planning this show. So this time, um, the window is closed, and um, I hooked up the headset so that the sound should be better. And also, I'm wearing pigtails because someone suggested it, and I figured, why not? So um, thank you very much. Please continue to, to comment. And so speaking of, this time... I'm going to go back in the mailbag, sort of, um, but instead of picking out another creationist email that was sent to me, this time I'm going to talk about a comment that was left by a fellow atheist on my first video. And this comes from Pinched, who wrote, I am also an atheist, and I am saying from one to another, speaking with such a patronizing tone is only for you. Either be sincere or be mocking. Don't hide in the middle. The obviousness of the facts you present speak for themselves. Don't hate these people for being ignorant. So thank you, Pinched, for writing. I appreciate hearing from you, um, even if you don't agree with me. Um, and obviously, I don't agree with you. Um, but I thought it'd be, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to address a few things in your comment. First of all, I certainly, um, I, don't, I don't know what it means to be... Um, somewhere in the middle of sincere and mocking. Um, I certainly wasn't trying to hide at all. And I think that were I trying to hide, I would be um, very different. So, um, you know, if I were completely dull and straightforward and didn't make any jokes, um, that's not me. Um, so that technically would be hiding. Uh, and the other thing is, um, so what does it mean to be in the middle of sincere and mocking? I think that the two are not on the same continuum. I think that they're not mutually exclusive. In fact, the best mocking often is sincere. For instance, in my previous two videos, I was certainly very sincere when I was offering uh, some advice to the people who wrote in. You see, because clearly they want to have an impact of some sort on me and so they're uh, they're offering up these arguments that just don't work and they don't work for me and I can't imagine they're ever going to work for anyone else either so they're not achieving their goals and it's not benefiting any, anyone it's just it, you're annoying the free thinkers and you're wasting your time when you send someone an email saying you're going to hell we, no, we don't believe in it. Just that's not going to work. So uh, I am very sincere in that, and um, also I'm going to I'm going to continue being mocking because these sort of things um, deserve to be mocked. Um, they're they're not deserving of um, uh, you know of, of some very sober, straightforward refutation. Let's be honest. This is low hanging fruit here. There are some deep religious conversations we could get into, but I doubt that they'd be very interesting for YouTube. M maybe I'll try that in the future, um, or as soon as I get an interesting email from a believer. So in the meantime, I'm just going to be me, and that's the best I can do. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that Pinch says, don't hate these people for being ignorant. And I want to clarify that I do not hate any of the people who email me. I mean, why would I? At worst, they're pests. You know, they clog up my inbox. But, I mean, that's easy enough to click the delete button if I need to. So there's, you know, it's it's a waste of my energy to hate people like this. Um, I, I reserve my hate, not for the ignorant, but for those who are the cause of ignorance in others. So by that I mean people who uh, who spread their ignorance, like um, Oprah. I I don't know if I actively hate her. Yeah, no, I guess I kind of do, um, because she uh, you know she spreads 
spreads the ignorance out and encourages other people to stop thinking. Um, she, she spreads misinformation. So, you know, the, people like Oprah, um, maybe Sylvia Brown, John Edward, um, yeah, those, those people are worthy of hate. So um, those of you who, who are writing in trying to either save my soul or offer um, other feedback, chances are I don't hate you, um, even if I mock you. Um, I, I even mock the ones I love, so don't take it personally. So thank you, Pinched, um, and thank you everyone else who continues to comment. Uh, I'll probably go back to more um, letters from believers next time, so um, look forward to that. And if you have any suggestions for other topics you'd like me to tackle, feel free to shoot me a, uh, an email or um, you know a YouTube letter or, I don't know, comment, whatever. Um, I'm reading them all, so thanks, everybody.